Investigating that, but basically there was a, a church that had 450 people go to a camp uh, uh, last week, and then this week uh, some of them started getting sick. Um, we've confirmed about 40 of those cases so far, but individual church members have been talking to the pastor. They think it may be 120, 130, 100, you know, so we don't have firm numbers on that yet. Um, and so what we're doing is we're actively doing investigation. We're asking people to stay home. Uh, the church has canceled its service for uh, this week, and so that way people won't be coming together and then potentially spread it even more. And uh, we're testing it for the Delta variant to see if that's uh, uh, the cause for it spreading so rapidly among that group. And that's about where we are at, at, at this point. So, But I also think it's a good... Uh, it's a good cautionary tale for other churches that are considering having get-togethers, you know, to be careful, um, particularly when you're getting together, you know, kids, most of whom haven't been vaccinated yet because they're not old enough. Um, it can lead to widespread uh, uh, things. So if they're going to have something, probably the better thing to do, instead of having big groups, smaller groups, separate, keep them, uh, you know, give them something to do, but without uh, crowding everybody. Together. On that, though, too, were there any people who were vaccinated that tested positive? Yeah, at least a couple that we know of. Now, we knew there were going to be uh, breakthroughs, but uh, this is going to be a real opportunity for us to learn more about the Delta variant because we have a group of people who have yeah. just been exposed and if it turns out to be the Delta variant now we know when they were exposed and we can see how well they've done and and uh, um, and see how many people are breaking through so I you know if we're lucky we'll be able to use this as an opportunity to learn more about uh, the Delta variant and how well vaccines work